I've been completely empty in that container garden today. We've still got those bad winds and it's raining. And there weren't that much left in that garden that was actually producing anything. Because we're starting all those new things off now for autumn and winter. I've also noticed that some of the peppers in other greenhouse have started to ripen. So I'm going to have a quick check on those and see if there's any holes in them. And I know somebody did suggest that if they get damaged at that ripening stage, then why not take them off while they're just starting to ripen and ripen them indoors. Unfortunately, we did try that. We tried it on a sunny window and the peppers just started to go soft and shrivel up. But then we just put them in a spare room on a table, out at some, and they still shriveled up and went soft. So it didn't really work. So I'm just hoping that the remainder of those peppers on those plants are just going to naturally ripen because if they don't we're not going to get anything from it but we'll have a look at those that I spotted this morning and see if they're any good back in here once again one thing I did notice which was quite annoying was this pepper it started ripening and it was going to be a yellow one unfortunately Something got to it, so once again, no good. These seem to be trying to ripen though, these long sweet bell peppers. We have got one or two on this plant. But, again, they're not fully ripe. This one, however, quite a bit bigger. And it's got a big hole in it. I think we're on a losing battle with peppers this year, to be honest. And there is one down here somewhere. You can find it. There. Not a bad size one. And it looks like we've found this culprit. It's got a little slug sat on there. Which is obviously trying to eat its way in. And that must be what's making the holes in these peppers as somebody on the channel did suggest I think it was Martin but they've just started to have a go at that one we might be able to save that since it is virtually all ripe and it's not soft it's nice and solid on this plant another one again it's quite a big one and it's trying to ripen I can't see any damage yet, so I'm going to leave that one. These haven't even started to ripen yet. I were thinking of digging one of these plants up, trying to overwinter it, because they're a good sized plant. I bet I'm not sure at the moment. The cucumber plant is really dying back now. But surprisingly, we have still got another cucumber on there. So we'll give that a little bit longer. That's definitely going to be the last one a year. More peppers there. That one has been got more than once. <laughs> in fact, there's about four holes in this one. So that's pretty annoying again. There's another quite big one there. Just starting to ripen. Oh, and ow, there's a vine down here which has grown off that main cucumber plant that I never noticed and it's got another cucumber on it so that shows you how resilient these plants are so we've actually got two cucumbers on this plant now so I'll rest that on that foliage off at ground so it ripens quicker this one has also got a pepper on it that's ripening. Let's have a look at that one. Again, too late. These aren't ripening. It's got quite a lot of peppers on this plant, but none have ripened yet. I think we're going back to containers next year because that one has had it as well. And the one below it has also had it. At least now we know what's causing that. 
Once again, that old, resilient enemy slugs. Something else I did notice though, on these plants that were just randomly put in, courgette plants. I took the netting away, and I've noticed this, a really good sized round courgette growing. So that's really good. And that one's virtually ready to harvest. But I did notice there's another one just down there. So quite late in season, and now these plants are making an effort, if you like. We'll check this one over here as well. I didn't notice that had one on it, and as I moved the plant, it's fell off. Don't think there's much or anything on this one, apart from that one that's just dropped off. His cabbages are all doing well though. We're all starting to art up now. And it looks like we've got some more strawberries. I have to take these because as soon as they start to ripen, they get eaten. So we better take those off now. At least then they won't be damaged. I'm gonna take that one as well. So a few strawberries this morning. This is what's left of that container garden. We've been clearing it up and we started weeding all this block paving, ready for setting it up again. That one's going to make a really good cabbage, very good size to it and it's undamaged. So that'll be getting ready for an harvest quite soon as well. Oh, not a brilliant result once again. One quite small pepper. It is ripe and we can use that. We got a little bit of something, but everything else has been eaten and we just happened to pick that pepper at the right time. I noticed that there was a slug on it. So that's just sat there slowly boring its way in. It answers that question. But we also got a few strawberries which we'll chuck in a bag and freeze. If you want to see how we freeze strawberries, we've actually got a video on us cooking channel showing you exactly how we do that. So it might be worth popping over there and taking a look. The container garden is now empty, but we've moved all those plants in here now. We're trying to keep away from that wind as much as possible. But we found one extra cucumber on that very resilient cucumber plant. And I'm pretty sure that's got to be it. So we've still got two more cucumbers to come. I've given up on those peppers now. Well, I'll just keep a check over them over the next couple of weeks. But I think next year we're going to go back to just container peppers no more in ground. They're too susceptible to damage, especially in this garden. We seem to have a lot of slugs and snails. But it was good to see that we'd got that little round courgette growing. All of a sudden, after doing not much or anything all year long, appears a courgette. And it's also a very good size and virtually ripe, ready to pick. So we dug his eels in and we waited. And now we've got a little bit of reward from that. And that is enough to keep me going for a few months more. We're going to be setting up some more containers for this container greenhouse over the next couple of days. So if you want to see those videos, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I'll see you then. Take care.